Saturday morning and I just came back from my hike down to Cumberland Farms to pick up the Saturday papers. Just didn't feel like going out this morning. Pete was working so we couldn't get to the Hey, 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 he seems confused that I discovered him. come here all the time. They sit down there and they look up at me through the fence. It's just like the scary one. Totally. Totally. Well, he's going to stick around. He looks like he might be 120 inches, 130 maybe. They always look bigger until you get him on the ground. I'm not going to attempt to walk over there because I don't want to get gorged. Come on, jump the fence. Saturday morning and I just came back from my hike down to Cumberland Farms to pick up the Saturday papers. Just didn't feel like going out this morning. Pete was working, so we couldn't get to the farm for shotgun. I'm over, as I said, by Veterans Park, Fairfield, Connecticut. I'm trying to figure out which one of these trees I might be able to climb with my climber and practice mounting the uh, fourth arrow arm. Looks like none of these trees are going to be ideal. Without a lot of work with a saw. But I did want to practice. But you'll notice there's a deer bedded down underneath that tree perfectly comfortable uh, and it's fairly early in the morning which these deer are mostly nocturnal now they come out at dusk and they get back in their beds they're around maybe a little bit at dawn but by seven o'clock they're back in the swamp again there's a seven and a half acre swamp you heard me talk about a lot and um, it, there's a there's a herd of about 14 or 15 deer that back in here I just don't know how many bucks um, I only have to this date recorded on video footage one nice size buck but uh, he was feeding on somebody's corn pile this would be an ideal place to fill a tag if somebody would just give you permission and the deer would die in our yard but it's all one acre zone or half acre zone so not one acre these are quarter acre half acre zones max you need to get four or five houses in a row uh, and or hope he just dies back in the middle of the swamp that would be good but um uh, I'm not going to walk in there. I just wanted you to see this, right? So long for now. Notice a couple deer. This guy puts corn out. It's on the corner of Lally Boulevard. Look carefully. It's a buck. And he's a shooter. Look at the size of that puppy. He lives on a seven and a half acre yard. No wonder he doesn't come to my house to eat anymore. That's because the guy's putting out some corn. He's got that dark winter coat on already. And he doesn't have far to go if he needs to have some fun. The doe's right out in front. But right now, he's just simply content. Wow, what a beauty. What a beauty. Can't tell from here whether he's a six or an eight. But, um, eh, 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 eh. Oh, I got him upset now, but he's going to continue eating. All right, time to go to work. Got to get to the office. Boy, you're lucky I don't have my bow with me. I take a chance.
Just got home from Rio Bravo. I guess the deer loved the grass in my front yard, but then they got spooked. Decided to run across the street. Here comes the straggler. That's the one with the broken leg. Broken rear leg. So my daughter counted them all up and there are nine. Nine of them, they'll work their way back to the swamp where they sleep. A seven and a half acre swamp. Oh well. That's the way it's been this year. Deer everywhere but where my tree stand is. I'm watching the football game today on Sunday. And before that deer became aware of me, she was eating. It was the perfect behind the shoulder shot. Leg forward and all. Complete access to the vitals. And I'm pretty sure that's 25 yards away. There you go. Look at that, huh? Never gets that easy when I'm out in the woods. Yeah, fo foot forward, complete open access to the vitals. She's eating like a goat, man. She's eating everything green. Perfect. That's the continuing saga of life of the deer here at Penfield Beach, Fairfield, Connecticut.